What is wildlife habitat? Lesson one, introduction to the four components of habitat. In this series of presentations, I will provide a definition of wildlife habitat and an overview of the different environmental components that comprise habitat. This information is foundational to understanding why each wildlife species occur where it does in the landscape, why and how a particular wildlife species or group of species will respond to natural or human-caused changes to the habitat, and how to plan habitat improvement projects to benefit particular wildlife species. From the very beginning, it's incredibly important to understand that where each wildlife species occurs within a landscape is not random. Each species occurs in certain areas that allow it to meet its needs to survive and reproduce. So in its simplest terms, we can define wildlife habitat as the combination of environmental factors that a given species requires to survive and reproduce. So in the case of wild turkeys, this would include tall trees for nighttime roosting, green fields for foraging and displaying, dense ground level cover for nesting, mature forests that contain oaks or beech that produce nuts, and winter shelter and food. Now, while each wildlife species has its own set of specific features that make up its required or preferred habitat, in its simplest terms, the habitat of all species is composed of four primary components, and these are food, cover, water, and space, or spatial arrangement. Individual animals of each wildlife species inhabit specific areas on the landscape that allow them to meet their needs for food, cover, and water. Where these components occur and how they are arranged within a landscape determine whether a wildlife species will occur in that landscape and where within the landscape it will spend its time. Within every landscape, Predictable combinations of specific habitat components occur within different habitat types. In New England, we have three basic habitat types, forested habitats, upland non-forest habitats, such as fields and pastures, and wetland and deep water habitats. Differences in the soil type, the amount of water, and in the type and structure of vegetation among these habitat types result in differences in the specific types of food, cover, and water found in each habitat. Each wildlife species occurs within the specific habitat types that provide the specific types of food, cover, and water that it needs to survive and reproduce. So think of habitat types as visually identifiable environments that provide a specific set of conditions or habitat components required by a wildlife species or by a group of wildlife species that have similar requirements. There are many specific types of forest, upland non-forest, and wetland and deep water habitats in New England. With practice, you can learn how to identify these specific habitats in the field and by using remote techniques such as aerial photography. Each habitat type is characterized by specific habitat components that support a predictable group or community of wildlife species that can be expected wherever those habitats and their components occur on the landscape. But to accurately predict where different wildlife species will occur and how those wildlife will respond to changing conditions, we must first have a basic understanding of what the four primary components of habitat are and what these components mean to wildlife. The remaining presentations in this series will provide you with a general overview of each of the four primary components of habitat. These videos are intended to direct your attention to the specific things you should start looking for when you go outside and want to know what wildlife species will call this area their habitat.